What is good, Mama Squad? Welcome back to our channel. Today is the day I get my stitches out. If you did not know, little recap, I had hair transplant surgery where they take the hair on the back of your head, they cut it out, and they implant it in the front, which is why I look like a, you know, crazy person right now. But when they cut it out on the back of your head, they gave me like 50 stitches, and those stitches have been in there for two weeks. I've been restless, haven't been able to sleep for two weeks. It's been getting better, but it's so sore until they take them out, and we're getting that done right now. I literally had to drive two hours to Fort Lauderdale, Florida in order to go back to the, uh, you know, doctor's office, surgical, you know, hair transplant center where I got my, you know, transplant done for them to take out the stitches. So I'm currently, I just hit 99 miles to go until I get there. Oh, and also if you haven't guessed yet, yes, Mariah is not here. So she had a doctor's appointment, right? And she wasn't going to be able to come. And then the doctor's appointment got canceled. And I told her, you know what, why don't you just stay home? You know, you have a little like girl day, girl time because since it is a two and a half hour ride, it's gonna be five hours of driving in total, not including the time that I'm there. So I probably won't see her for six hours today. So basically the whole day today is just gonna be me by, by myself and then I'm gonna come back and film with her when I get back. But I don't know what she's doing. I don't know what she's up to. I told her just to relax, have a nice little day and let me do the driving because she hates road trips. If you hate road trips, comment down below. Mariah literally cannot stand being in the car for longer than like, I would say three hours is like a good max for her. Maybe even two. She doesn't like driving, but hey, I'm gonna show you guys behind the scenes of me getting my stitches out Hopefully it doesn't hurt. They said it's not supposed to and yeah, this is how they look. I don't know if you can see them They look pretty good. They look really good But we're gonna show you up close when I get there So stay tuned get ready and make sure to like this video like it for me Hopefully uh, everything goes well and if you haven't noticed my hair is actually starting to grow it's getting way longer, so your boy's gonna be looking sexy here pretty soon. Not right now, but you know, pretty soon. For the people that think I still look good, thank you. I love you. For the people that don't, I still love you too. I, I understand why you think that. All right, guys, we finally made it. After a two and a half hour drive, I'm here, and I'm supposed to be in there by one o'clock, and it's currently 101, so I better make my way up there right now. But I'm excited, dude. I can't wait to get my stitches out. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be so nice to be able to sleep on my, uh, you know, head without actually tossing and turning every hour of the night in pain it's not painful painful but it's like it's pretty bad like it's it's like a, having a splinter underneath your skin that you can't move and there's like 50 of them so you, you already know it's it's not comfortable <laughs> but guys on the bright side it's literally like 90 degrees out so it's like really hot today and it's so nice. I had the wind blowing in my hair, the hair that I have. <laughs> it feels so weird for wind to blow on my hair and like my front hair not to move because usually I'm used to it like moving everywhere but since I have like a little ponytail right now, it's like just staying there. All right, so I'm on the elevator but tell me, I did not notice this last time. They have self cleaning buttons. How do the buttons clean themselves? That, that literally makes no sense but if it works, it works, I don't know. All right guys, so I made it in the place for my removal and uh, I'm all decked out in their, you know, kind of surgical gear, I guess you could say, for the removal and uh, I'm gonna get it done. So, wish me luck, I can't wait to get some good sleep. <laughs> Oh my God, guys, I finally made it back home and this girl's out here working her booty off. Yeah, I cleaned and stuff. You she, clean, you're doing groceries, even though she's she too lazy to go out and get the groceries yeah, herself, she ordered yeah, them online. Yeah. You wanna know what, okay. You wanna know what did? Okay, well, who, so which one? This dude, yeah, little guy? Windex. And he was licking the Windex off of here and slipping <laughs> and sliding and running across it like a slipping slide. Wait, so he was like running and then sliding? Yeah. Guys, with me. Thor, our little guy Thor, if you don't know, we have two cats. If you're new to our we channel, they they both are menaces, but Thor just gets into more stuff than Snap does. Like, Snap just chills, he's a little cutie, sometimes he like nibbles, but Thor just gets into things that he shouldn't. And he runs away with valuable items like right. Apple Watches and stuff. I put into the fridge, that's why I'm not, uh, I'm that's fine. Marvel Squad, when I tell you today is literally the most tiring day ever, I don't know what it is, but car rides make you tired. Now I can understand why you don't like doing long road trips, babe. If you're the actual one driving, if you're in the driver's seat, it's 10 times more tiring than the passengers. It's just, uh, I, I didn't go with them because I had other things, but I just, 
I knew I would honestly get really bad anxiety because the thing is, this bill was probably at the, that our house for like 15 minutes, and then we had to drive another two and a half hours back home, and I just. Honestly. I was actually there for a little bit because the doctor gave me a sandwich to eat. Like she gave me lunch and stuff. So what, did it hurt? Oh, so we, I got a lot of behind the scenes. Really? And I know she, Mariah hasn't seen it yet, but you guys have. She had a girl filming the whole time. She clipped them off, really? pulled them out, everything. So you can see all the behind the scenes, it's crazy. Can I see it? Yeah, you look good though. I just want to say that. I'm just comfy. No, you I'm look like cute. my neck I think hurts. the comfy vibe is cute. It's a cute vibe, right? I'm exhausted. We should, we should uh, you know, make this more normal. Just comfy, just wear this stuff out in public guys yeah. like you know do you but yes after six total see. hours of driving i'm finally back i look normal wearing a hat but i have to take it off now and now you can see how my stitches look without anything in it did she put needle sport on it yeah oh give her eyes reaction what do you what do you see it looks like you still have stitches in there but it's because of the little dots yeah like the, the dots are gonna heal the dots where they stuck me and stitched me there's... so did it hurt here can we show them right now yeah. i'll show you guys a little behind the scenes did it hurt there were a couple pinches but like other than that like pulling it out, not really. It was just how did she say the graph looks? Oh, she said they look awesome. They look awesome. So she said they're all gonna fall out between now and four months. And she said after four months is when they'll start growing back. Oh. And she said after a year, my hair should be like that long. Oh, uh, so it's really gonna take a year, huh? So, no, it's gonna take four months of this. To get that back? Like, this will start falling out anytime now. And she said it'll fall out unevenly. Some will fall out one day, some will stay. So, But remember, I have all the hair in the middle that's still gonna grow. Yeah, yeah. I'm still gonna have some of my old hair there. But let's go show all my stitches. Did she say you could bring your hair forward again? Let me clean off the camera. I think I got some Vaseline or whatever. Did she see you start bringing your hair forward again? Instead of keeping it a ponytail? Yeah. All right, let's show them. All right. I haven't even seen them with it out. But doesn't my head, doesn't it look better, right? Yeah, it just looks... It, it looks like it's growing in more. Does it feel so much better that you don't have it in there anymore? Oh, I'm sure it feels look at that. amazing. She said my suture line looks like it's healing so good. Oh my god. Like you're not gosh. even gonna be able to notice it. Doesn't it look good? Yeah, it looks really nice. It looks, it doesn't look as tight, right? Because wow. they have my skin put together. Guys, tomorrow Bill is going to get his fur... Can you get a haircut tomorrow? Oh, that it's healing so good. Can you get a haircut? Oh, she said wait a couple days. Oh. Honestly, I kind of want to wait till like Saturday or something like that. Oh. Like she said, wait at least like three days. Because oh. it's gonna hurt. It's gonna still sensitive. Oh. Just think, all the little dots they need to heal shut. Yeah, but can't he just do it around it? No, because he has to fade it and it goes like that every time, and it'll it'll hurt. We're not getting it done yet. You guys just to be with a haircut. Hopefully next week. Damn. So, it's gonna look good though. It is gonna look My good. My sisters are out. That's the last time I ever have to go there again. Did she say you could start pulling your hair in frontwards again? Yeah, she oh. said I can do that. But obviously, right not right now. She asked if I wanted to there, and I'm like, if I take this ponytail out, my hair's gonna be like stuck in that position. Yeah, it is. You gotta shower. First. I don't have any product yet. But. Yeah. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I'm sorry if I wasn't really a part of it for a very long time, but I'm here, and um, we're probably just gonna go relax and cuddle and, and we're in the bathroom. hang out. And we're in the bathroom. Let's, let's get out of the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of awkward doing an outro in the bathroom, guys. Wait, I want to see what food you got me. Let's see how our diet. Let's do a diet. Okay, right okay. Right. There is one thing that I got in there that we probably shouldn't have gotten, but I just am like, yeah. I have not been in the gym for two weeks. And we're going tomorrow. Two weeks. We're going tomorrow. And you buy Oreos. Very nutritious. Very terrible for you. Lots of carbs. But I just thought it was a good oh snack. God. And then rice. But rice is Four boxes of rice. Yeah, for dinners, babe. <laughs> you know, <laughs> rice. It's they the say best rice. actually they people like hate on carbs like when you're dieting, but actually rice is not bad for you like how everyone makes it seem like. Like it's not obviously the best for you, but it's, it's good, like it's a good It's meal. a good carb oh, nutrition. I will eat rice. You know, yeah. and brown rice, white rice. This is good for you. These, That's healthy. They're not like amazingly good for they're you. They're healthy, they're babe. Calories. Read it. All right, let's read see. the let's carbs. See. They got barely any carbs. 17 grams of carbs. No, it's not 17 grams. Oh, babe. six grams of five. Okay, so that's 11. Five gram net carbs, right. each little package. Right, fine. We're going to end the video right here yeah. because Mariah's just trying to prove me wrong this whole time. I am. I know what I'm talking about. I've literally. Have we kissed yet today? No, yeah, when we woke up, but. It's been seven hours since we kissed. I love you. I love this little girl. Guys, I don't know if I like, okay, so I got this Gucci cologne, and I don't know why, I feel like it stinks like a- It's good. It's, it it's kinda, good. Okay, I thought I liked it, but it kind of reminds me of a grandpa, and I like, I don't know. It, it smells good. If you guys could smell, if I could waft this to you guys right now, you'd I like don't, it. I, I think it smells too oldy, like old, like I think old, it's, I like think, grandpa. I like it because it's strong. It's like a grandma and grandpa smell. Like, no offense to grandma and grandpas, but like, I just, I like your other colognes better. I like the 
I need to get you your. It was worth a shot. How about how about I stick to buying my colognes? Yeah. And you don't buy me expensive colognes that you end up not liking because that well, thing was like a hundred dollars or yeah, something. Yeah, right? it was hundred fifty bucks. Yeah, but it's okay. We tried. I thought it was gonna smell good, but I don't want to feel like I'm want to be smelling my grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to either when I'm going <laughs> going to bed or going on a date. And be like, I love you, but you smell like my grandpa. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm so excited for my stitches to finally heal up. It's already getting less sore now that they're not even in there. I feel like tonight is gonna be the best night for sleep yeah. for me in a while. And it's only gonna get better from here on forward. And like I said, my hair is growing in, but all of these are gonna eventually fall out and out regrow. It. It's gonna grow in unevenly for the first, you know, couple months, but you know, it's already been two weeks. That's crazy. Think about it, it's already been two weeks. We've already lived in Florida for a year. So think, if I got this done when we moved down here, it would've already been full. That's crazy. So time's gonna fly and it's gonna be like nothing. I'm gonna wear hats and stuff too, so you're not even gonna notice the difference. But but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and we will see you in the next video. But, but until, until then, then peace. peace. Love you guys. Bye.